when me touch down, but I broke down. Gangtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimbal. Nimba Domoro Kala Janno. Domoro Senata, Adiata, Topotoro, and Kendama Bige. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijan, Adimanda Wallad, Takawe Bijele, and Impananka Fadijan, Ukono Fa. A government of pastry and in bakery, Uko Fanan Bekali. Bad day lomba, conference lomba, workshop lomba, ye four ten nil lom dunia kono. Domoro better ma nil lom international oti wada number one. Amang ke bad domola jang dama. Esa domo jang is ataria. Ah, wo muku bandi. Ah, sign na kuo. Esa futen dim. Eh, oto sign na kuo be musikas restaurant. Dava na jang na muiyad ni manje jorombi jang. Aban. Musikas restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction.
organization is shaking the very foundation of this country because today in our midst we have all the honorary guests all the leaders in this country even the president is represented in this meeting we are very honored Man ma ngi tudam ak Red Ellis Man ma indi tay bata hel bi ci fiñ dajé ni tay tay li ñu fi indi lu magala ndax tay dañu ubi headquarters bi nga xamné moy bu Treasure Women Warriors fi ci kiyang queen la an dajé bi tay nekku dajé bu ndaw parce que dajé bi tay mo lem ko xamné kilifa nga ci dekk Yengu nga tay pour ñew fekk ci ñu fi fekk ci aji kuma da fe mo jige ni mo ligéal fi bir gambia ndax ñu ubi tay headquarters bi treasure women warriors ya gane di ligéy gambia way tay len bu nga xamal sen bopa ini sen bopa won gambia yeb ñom ñoy kan ñu mu neena won ligéy bi fi def fi ci dekk bi ak jige ni gambia kon nak yeen ñep ñu leen di jaaje fal Jere jen jef chilingen bai sen soh la yep nyo uyi sinyu kontan neng aji kumba gerem na len kon na kle gi denyo koma se wah tu bidem na ngen bala nyo aha chiling tar de koma se wai fum neng i koma se neng tede va hum bare kila koma se na gi hum ba be ba nyo dalal kon na welcome everyone thank you very much for coming we really appreciate you and to begin We are going to welcome the Treasure Warrior Women groups that are already existing and working active in the Gambia. Whilst they are getting ready to process into the complex, we are going to have the entertainers entertain us for just a few moments. Lima wa moyi Treasure Warrior Women, ninga hamne nyuge ligay chi deka bilu ega chi 700 women, jige nyuge ligay, denyo pare punyo dugasi. Nyom nak nyine pare nyom duga sifi akulu seda, deng buka humbal buka tanggal pala asmi, deng anak seni sabat, anak seni kewel, anak seni denda, deng ibu gai nyo wengen welcome len, nyi ai jike ni jambar len, deng liga liga ibu wer liga ibu set wedge, halis bu wer kal len liga ibu gambia, kon nak sinyo duga si, neng len teral neng len tachun, neng len magal, nyo ham neng nyi ai jike ni jambar len, deng jike ni jambar kulen jike moi jambar buke namak jike gambia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
welcome para ngay sabal kati nyamal lañu tuti bala jigen ñi di ñu ati jol moyen kenn da sul bala ngar gunung bana be شهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو والملائكة تقول العلم قائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم إن الدين عند الله الإسلام وما اختلف الذين أوت الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءهم العلم باغيا بينهم وما يكفر بآيات الله فإن الله سريع الحساب قل اللهم مالك الملك تؤتي الملك من تصاع وتنزع الملك من تشاء وتعظ من تشاء وتذل من تشاء بيد خلخيه إنك على كل شيء قدير تلج الليل في النهار وتلج النهار في الليل تخرج الحي من الميت وتخرج الميت من الحي وترزق من تصاع بغير حساب صلاة تنزلنا بها من جميع الأحوال والآفات وتقديلنا بها جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وتفرم بيندك على الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أخصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات في الآيات وبعد الأمان ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالم شهاد ربك رب العزة أما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Located here in the promised land of Kian Quinella أكمن قرر ويوم يجب تشاهد ندوكا بوندا إلولا but before we do that, we want to honor all the guests that have responded to this invitation today. We will continue honoring the guests, but for now we'll begin with honoring Honorable Minister Ami Fabure, the Minister of Agriculture, and she's also representing His Excellency President Anuabaro in this meeting today. <laughs> We want to welcome other guests. Adamaka, Adamaka is the man leading the woman that is leading this organization. You know, we normally say behind every man there is a woman. But I'm here to say in front of every woman that has a voice is a powerful man anointed by God and chosen for the assignment. Okay. Lima wah moyi dengan sarjana ini hamil nyofitewe. 
ni wa honorable minister ami fagure ni nga xamne moy minister of agriculture fi ci gambia te mom tan mom la president ado baro yoni tay pour mu ñew togal ko fi tay ci detay gi be pare tam ñi nga sargal adamaka ki nga xamne bo gisé jigen bu mëna taxaw be am kaddu ci bir rew dafa fekk nga am imam am ustaz ci sa bir kër te imam bobu ak ustaz bobu du kenn ganaw adamaka ki nga xamne mom la yalla tanga pour mu nekk jëkari aji ko bada fekka We are also welcoming the Lord Fall, Honorable Minister Fafa Sanyang, Minister of Energy and Petroleum, Mayor Rex Rohimalik Lowe, Usman Ka, Lead Council Esa Fall, Aisa Tuja of QTV, Bintama Kutubo Conte, Dr. Hadija Tuseka. We are also welcoming Ule Dibawada, Mrs. I mean, Mr. Mustafa Njai Taf, and Fatu Kamara of Fatu TV, Dr. Omar Ture, Maria Maba, Abdul Hadir Jaite, Fantabai Seka, Alpha Bari, Usainu Dabo, Honorable Usainu Dabo. We're also welcoming Honorable Fabakari Kambang Jata, Yankuba Koli, former Lord Mayor. We are welcoming all these guests and many more. Honorable Fatuma Tambajan, we haven't forgotten you. And Sumana Sane, Chief Dembasanyan, Chief Ali Gay Ture, all the chiefs in the area. We are also welcoming Daylo, Mamari Jeng, Ya Fatu Sen, Ya Astu, Haita, Adi Seka, Ganji Ture, Jaina Basi, Amina Jara. We are welcoming you all to this occasion and we'll continue to welcome and to honor all the special guests the VVIP of Treasure Women Warriors. I have been here for a long time. 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 Bagai baby sulai kuyal jambi. Yang niat ni mesti jadi faham. Jere jere Jeff cili yang new kewe. New wah jere Jeff cili His Excellency Presiden Adam Barodina Hamne. Uyu na invitasi ambi. Mulu fetewe wah muiyo ni new Honourable Minister Fagure. Purmu tolong kopi. Yang niat ni mesti jere kini faham. Yang niat ni jere jige ni jambari. So this is a treasure woman warrior. Vous n'avez pas de l'âme qu'à l'outil de Kabi. Vous n'avez pas de l'âme qu'à l'outil de Kabi. Parce que les gens qui ont vu l'âme qu'à l'outil de Kabi, ils n'ont pas de l'âme qu'à l'outil de Kabi. Donc, nous avons déjà fait notre équipe, 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 notre Bangko Presiden Wahid His Excellency Adam Abaro, aku mau mabelo jambara ibu cina dan menjadi Minister of Agriculture di Alif Abude. Anu tuh tuh malu betul. Anak itu tuh mau dua lah Alif Abude. Menjalan kau oleh Islam orang. Perdindu oleh tamilo. Islam orang oleh tamilo yang lain. Now we are ready to move to an important aspect of the program, which is the inauguration of the building. And to begin, we want to hear some words of wisdom from Mr. Gabi Sose. Is Mr. Gabi Sose in the house? Mr. Gabi Sose, if you are here, we want to hear some words of wisdom from you as we prepare to inaugurate the building, the official opening, so we can get deep dive deep into the program. In place of Mr. Gabi Sose, we are going to call on Mr. Abdullah Ture to share a few words of wisdom. I will call Mr. Gabi Sose Saya Mr Abu Lai turut kumandila perafalan sila sukuman info. And followed by Mr Usman Ka to share a few words, and then we will move on to the inauguration, and that will be done by Honourable Minister Fabure. Aku ni mau benda je Mr Ka sila perafalan sukuman info. Ni mau benda je saya Mr Member Mo Daila Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Mr. Abdullah Ture, welcome and give us some words of wisdom before we move on to inaugurate the building. Now to welcome Mr. Abdullah Ture. Alhamdulillahi minas shaitanir rajim. Bismillahi rahmanir rahim. 
Madam MC for the occasion, the chairman for the occasion for the formal launch of Treasure Women Warriors, the founder and president of Treasure Women Warriors, Aji Kumar Dafeka, the president of Kyo Foundation, and the spouse of the force behind the women, Treasure Women Warriors, Mr. Adam Aka, the contractor of this magnificent edifice, Al Haji Mohamed Yai, honorable ministers here present, Minister Ami Fabure and Minister Fafa Sanyang, who hails from this region, honorable members of the National Assembly here present, Governor of the Lower River Division, National Assembly members, Chiefs and Alcalos, Chairman of Masakonko Area Council, Mr. Landing Sane, Lord Mayor of Banjul, Mrs. Rohi Malik Lowe, political leaders here present, I recognize my landed friend, Raya Usain Dabo, and wife, Mrs. Maya Nur Dabo, Honorable Fatsumata Tamayang, Mr. Fabakari Tombong Jata, Ajaratu Yamseka, Mr. Ganji Ture, and Mr. Yankuba Koli, all here present. Governor of the region as well. The family of the late Mam Usman Jeng, led by my darling wife, Mrs. Lei Jeng Ture, and Lei Asusi from Senegal. President and members of the Commercial Farmers Agribusiness Network, led by President Dr. Omar Ture, my own brother. The family of the late Jere Dafe, who hailed from this district. The delegation from Sahel Nolay Campus, under the leadership of Safi Job, Juka Jawang, Daddy Nyang Jai, Dr. Omar Ture, and Lamin John, here present, captains of industry, Adi Yamseka, I have already mentioned, captains of industry here present, Al Haji Mustafa Njai Taf, Al Haji Al Fabari, Honorable C.D. Led, Mr. Gaulo Fal, former basketball player, Mrs. Mohamed Ja, Mrs. Baimale Wala Diba, all here present, eminent personalities, members of the press, distinguished members of the media fraternity, gallant women warriors here present. I pay special tribute. All of them are gallant, but the more gallant hail from Balangar. So I salute the gallant women from Balangar. Ladies and gentlemen, during the fight for independence in this country, you will all recall that it started in Balangar with Edward Francis Small. And I recall reading the memoirs. And one of the union leaders, the late Cham Juf, said something very potent. He said, history, history cannot proceed by in silence. Therefore, we are here to celebrate history in motion and history in making. I feel honored and humbled to be asked by the angel in Ajikumba, Dafeka, to deliver a statement on this landmark occasion. Anytime I am asked to speak at such important occasions, I always ask the strategic question, why? If you can answer the why, the what is easy. And if you know the what, the how is easy. And if you know the how, the when is easy. And if you know the when, the where is easy. And if you know the where, you will have, you will achieve your targeted results, which essentially means that you are a strategic leader, a strategic thinker, and a strategic manager. This is what Ajikumba Tafe represents to me and to most of you in this room. Therefore, the answer to why, why treasure women warriors? I recall vividly getting a call from Ajikumba some years ago. She was in the United States, and there was a flood in the Saloum region. And she was so disturbed that she called and said, Uncle Bax, did you see what has happened in Saloum? I said, yes. He said, what are we going to do, or what can we do about this? And I was touched, and he said, and I said, 
Well, all I can do is to refer you to the National Assembly member at the time, Mr. Sirimbai, who is here, and also the governor for the Central River region, who happens to be my brother, Ganji Ture. And little did I know, she took a flight to the Gambia, and we had a meeting in my office with Ganji and Sidi Mai. And as they say, the rest is history. That's why history cannot proceed by in silence. Ali Kupatafeka had a vision at a tender age of 12. Her vision was to uplift and empower women in the Gambia. Team Ajikuma, when we talk Ajikuma, we also talk Ajindei, because they are Siamese twins. Team Ajikuma has been living the adage, you make a living from what you earn, and you make a life from what you give. I recall her initial initiative when she came and started a program called Yes, We Can Read. And she was taking children, underprivileged children, to the American corner, and to entice them, she would buy them ice cream and teach them how to read. And most of those are now high flyers in our society. And for moving forward on that project, she moved on to the Balangar region and, and adopted a school in Palen Balangar. And the rest, as we say, is history. She then moved on with her twin and other Maka to establish the Night of Excellence Awards, dedicated to recognizing, acknowledging, and celebrating people that have made a significant contribution in our society. She then moved on and organized a very international fashion show to raise funds for cancer research. And also, they were very instrumental in the resettlement program for Gambians that were fleeing the country during the impasse in 2016-2017. So these are accolades that we need to celebrate. But we are here today to celebrate this flagship event, which is the formal launch of Treasure Women Warriors in Quinella, Kian, the birthplace of her father, the illustrious and honorable late Yere Dafe. Ali Kumba's mother, the hardworking and kind-hearted of blessed memory, Fatu Jeng Aliu. When I say Fatu Jeng Aliu, that means he was a descendant of Alaji Aliu Jeng of blessed memory, of Banjul and Ajaratu Ndeiseka of Salum in the CRR. Ajikuba has decided that she wanted to impact her ancestral maternal home as well as her ancestral paternal home. And by doing so, she has transformed this beautiful village of Queen Ella into what it is today. It was Albert Einstein that said, do not aim for success, strive to be a person of value. We must live and cherish our long-held Gambian values of truthfulness, honesty, patriotism, patriotism selflessness, and love of the Gambia ever true. I have always given the analogy of an egg. If you boil one egg, it is assumed that it will be consumed by one person. If you make that same one egg into an omelet, it will be consumed by at least five people. But if you take the same egg and make it into mayonnaise, it will be tasted by several people. And that is what is called inclusive economic development and emancipation. This is what Aji Kumba has done. She has taken one egg and turned it into mayonnaise and has empowered all these gallant women. I always say that all Gambians are created equal. But the most impactful Gambians and the most valuable Gambians are those who empower the women and the youth of this our beautiful country, the Gambia. Treasure Women Warriors have set the pace, and we challenge each and everyone here present to follow this signing example. 
Mr. Lamin Sane is also from the region, and I challenge him to empower the youths. Imagine if government going forward, Madam Fabure and my good friend are here present. If government going forward decides to outsource the numerous agricultural development projects to private sector organizations and associations, we will become full self-sufficient and full secure within a decade. At Sahel, we have coined what we call the Sahel Law of Food Security, and it simply states, agriculture minus mechanization equals poverty. Agriculture plus mechanization equals prosperity. This is what Ajikumba is doing together with this gallant treasure women warriors. A recent study by the Mackenzie Global Institute's report finds that $12 trillion could be added to the global GDP by 2025 if only we advance women's equality. The public, private, and social sectors will need to act to close gender gaps in work and in society. Once again, every day is a Treasure Women Warriors Day until we achieve full security by taking out the dodgery of farming and mechanized and use mechanized technology for food security and self full self-sufficiency. Gambia is blessed by the Almighty Allah. We are abundant possibilities, but we have a scarcity mentality. We need to be resourceful, just like Ajikumba has done, by coming in and empowering all these women. And if Ajikumba can give all these women a revolving loan at zero interest, and for them to be transformational, for them to be impactful, you can imagine if each and every one of us adopts our village, what the world will be, and the Gambia will be a better place for all of us. On that note, I salute you, Madam I I salute your twin, I salute your husband, and most importantly, I salute all these distinguished personalities who have taken their time from their busy schedules to come and attend this very important occasion. You are, you are a pace setter, you are a trailblazer, you are a trendsetter. And as I said, history cannot proceed by in silence. We recognize you and applaud you and salute you. Thank you. Rafet Tisen President, Aji Kubadafe. Wana ni Aji Kubadafe, ni mso se motaini. Ne Aji Kubadafe, bomo am nyaf, naka fuki atak nyar. Chila gizbez bume ni teigi. Kona kufi wa wahji em nono, wargen ko tachil, belo sen lo hei jen. Jigeni tachilen, Mr. Abilai today. Mr. Abilai today, we appreciate you, sir. Aga mongo lang, ako mushol, ni mo mo di ang mudo jang. Dukare ala ko bulo la bang. Ay kumakyo nyo kaya, ang bulo ko sa'yo. Wala tayo, ako hindi nga mongo da. Ako mongo ay, aja kumbala kuwa mali. Ay kumja wala ko na ama. Ani aja kumbala kera kuwa mushol la karol. Kuro mushol meli nyo jang, ni mo mongo da. Quickly before we move on to hear from Mr. Usmanka, the women treasure women warriors of Nyamina Dangun who just entered the premises. Mele ni dem talk ni ne kafu jigete. Parce que aussi, il y a une délégation qui a une importance pour le Sénégal. Pour 
jelus sama jelus kadu tay si nyari fadala bumun yo sagal sargal kile fi fi to moy vice president moy honorable minister moy mayor moy woman group group may moy wax ci bu ndek bi ci turu adamaka la kay waxe ndax ñun suñu dom dafa kontan trop ba mu ñu wax mu ñu tok sax ben place mi ngi dama ko ñew rek lu tax ñi di sant suñu borom bi ñu joxe a jigen bu mu ngor muy aju kuma ka adaman momane depuis mi ngi nek washington ak las vegas onkul bo ñe nga gëreemul ma sama jabar parce que taxawu na ma ci côté bu ne taxawu na ma ci fan bu ne gëreem na ko encourager na ko ñi ngi sant suñu borom bi ñu joxe aju kuma ndekete yo ete lolu sama xol dafa sedd tay ndax alaaji duduka ak soxna bu bax bi aji mari xamona na yalla li rek la leen ni fayé té def na lu bari mi ngi ñew ci kanam ndax ñom ñoo jëk jox exemple goor ak jigen ci bir sey li yalla soxla nañ leen leen di jappalanté ben aji mari yagg na japp duduka ñun loolu mën nañ ko sédé ci fan yu bari ci kaw loolu ma ngi wax tam ci turu askanu kayen ci turu samba yuga ak bilalika ke serigne jabel ka ci kaw la ci keur imam ratif bu banjul muy keur mam maska ak delegation bi nga xamne ño fi nek jogé ci fami bobu aji ko ba yalla yalla defal jamm yalla yalla yok fi soudra parce que li nga seb yalla def ci def loxom mo tax tay ñu sant suñu borom ñu ñu joxe occasion ñu ñew fété li ak yow lepp lo defone inshallah rab ya bi dina ko def ñaaral bi moy ci ci li ñu liggéey we have the same vision ndax man ma ngi liggéey ci lepp lu nga xamné moy xex ñak ci sénégal on program against the poverty ki li contre la pauvreté man yalla la ko jox ci sénégal ci ministre of women affaires social development bi ma ñëwé gis li gis vidéo yi dama sant yalla ndax nekete yo man buma joggé dakar gaar kaw la ñoo fi du tanki nen di sénégal ak gambie ak africa war nañ dem new york ci fan yi ci csw delegation gambie am gën ngeen yobu ndax li moy onene leadership woman leadership moy empowerment moy woman agency moy social development moy social protection suñu ndaw ci suñu dom bi suñu dawat gi mi ngi def mi ngi liggéey jigen yi jëna jëf wax nañ na derrière grand dom il y a une grande dame waye da wax na ñoo wax na nak aussi jigen gi li muy liggey bu ko nexon yalla jox nako lu mu teudé da ef ak amérique yoré khalisam waye dafa bayyi lepp wacc fi ci dëkk bi jappalé ay mbokam jappalé ni ay nit ñi pour que mu am développement ci kaw lolu inshallah rabbi ci kaw li ñu yoré ci dikoy liggey mam partenaire yi ñi am ci UNDP UNFP UNICEF inshallah ci Sénégal da nañ fexé ba lokolo parce que ci fan yi wana am seminaire bu am importance nga xamné ñaari ministres yi woman affaires yi ñoo ci wala tok seminaire signé ben accord développé ay action nga xam d'intervention manam ay secteur ci nga xamné ci li aji ko mo doon def la ci kaw lolu ma leen di talal sama loxo di leen sant adama jëla jëf yalla yalla defal jamm yalla yalla yok sa soudra Mustafa Fatou Bouy Pantana Aji Kumba continue parce que nak 
Nisokna Ajija, Hadija, Nefon, Tikad, Rasulillahi, Ni Aïssa Nefon, Boudara, Loumay Am Pastef, Loumay Am Courage, Loumay Am Passion, Loumay Am Vision, Loumay Am Tahawai, Tahawai Bourafet, et Nefnoko. Nous sommes en train de nous défendre, 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 The members of the parliament, the lead councillor, Mr. Fall, good afternoon. Uh, in fact, uh, I think we have the district chiefs, all the district chiefs here present. I said a big good afternoon to you all. And uh, I will last my greetings with the women warriors from all over the regions. I said a big good afternoon to you all. I'm not forgetting my sister also, Fanta Baiseka, because it's because of Fanta, that's why I knew Kumba. So Fanta, I will never forget you because Fanta has been working with the Muen Bureau And at that time, I was the chairperson of the National Women Council. And uh, with good collaboration with the Women Bureau, with the Ministry of Agriculture, we were working closely with Kumba. So Kumba, thank you very much for supporting our Tengen women. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll continue to work together so that at least our Gambian women can be empowered. I bring you greetings from His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Adam Abaro, who would have loved to be here, but due to some national duties, he is unable to attend this important launching and the opening ceremony. He asked me to extend his sincere apology and also to represent him. I am indeed delighted and privileged to be part of this ceremony on the launching and the opening of Treso Women Warriors held in the beautiful village of Kiyamkuinala, Lower River Region. <laughs> Madam Chair, I'm so proud to be associated with this woman, especially Kumba. Originally, my ancestors are from Kia, and having this beautiful building in Kia, I'm so honored. And we are ready to support our Gambian women. The attainment of gender equity, equality, and the women's empowerment remains priority in our government of the Gambia, especially our development agenda. Since the World Women's Conference in Mexico City in 1975, these efforts were intensified after the Beijing Conference 1995. These efforts were intensified after the Beijing Conference in 1995. That's a quite number of years now. But I think Gambia, we are progressing because we have people like Kumba around us. At that time, many countries, if not all, did not put in place women empowerment programs, activities, not to be have gender mercenaries responsible for quality form formulations, mainstream of gender perspectives, and capacity development towards the attainment of the set goals of gender equity equality and the women empowerment. This meeting came at a time when more efforts and attention is required to meet the SDGs. We, we have only one decade left for the SDG, especially SDG goal number one, ending poverty. I think as a government, this is our priority. We want to ensure that we are self-sufficient in food production and they improve our economy. SDG 2, end hunger and achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. In fact, uh, 
my fellow women, this is my dream. Every day if I sleep, I wake up, I, I always think of how to empower our Gambian women and the entire Gambian farmers. So that at least we can be self-sufficient in food products and also to improve our economy. SDD 5. Achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. And that's what Puma is doing. SDG 8. Promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth. Full and productive employment, decent work for all. However, such attainment requires equal education and the quality education, quality health services delivery, women and girls' right promotion and protection for their effective participation in all aspects of development, particularly in the economic sector. Madam Chairman, this event for the advocating for women rules in national development will no doubt contribute towards the achievement of SDG 5 and bring new innovative strategies for all of us. In the Gambia, under the leadership of His Excellency President Adam Aro, the government is implementing a national development plan of which women issues are critical, enable us to the eight pillars of the National Development Plan within the context of three years, 2018-2021. Women empowerment is a critical enabler to achieve the goals of promoting gender equity, equality, empowerment of women and girls to sustain social economic development. The key expected results of these goals are, one, increase the number of gender mainstream sector policies from 4 to 16. And our government alone cannot do it. It means we have to work together so that at least we achieve these goals. Decreased proportion of female head household below the poverty line from 24.9% to 22%. Existence of an enterprise development form. And, and I know that one is in place with the list of women's affairs. Increase the proportion of seats held by the women in the National Assembly from 10 to 30 percent at least. Increase the proportion of women holding ministry positions from 21 percent to 30 percent. Decrease the proportion of women who are subjected to physical violence from 40.9 to 10 percent. Decrease the proportion of girls under women aged 15 to 49 who have undergone FGM from 76.3% to 50%. Existence of Center for Survivors of Domestic Violence. Chairwoman, capacity development for women entrepreneurs remains a priority of the government and the time to the line ministries and uh, in fact the Minister of Agriculture will be part of it because I have seen and I have been working with Kumba so that these women can be empowered. We will focus on enhancing women economic empowerment through capacity development of women entrepreneurs who form most of the informal sector of the economy. Training of women groups in sustainable livelihood skills, entrepreneurship and group management across the country during the implementation of the plan. Women are supported with labor saving device to reduce drugging and workload and currently almost three to four weeks back, almost 94 communities or villages benefited from level saving device. And the most of these villages, they are under Agi Kumbadafi. <laughs> Furthermore, it should be noted that in the Gambia, women farmers play an important role in the social and the economic development of the Gambia. Over 91% of our upland rice fields women are engaged in the production. And uh, almost 96% of our swamp rice, women are engaged in that production. And uh, in the area of horticultural crop production, almost 88% of Gambian women who are engaged in agriculture are engaged in vegetable production. You see how women are committed. They are very important in our society. And uh, anything they earn from those produce, whether it's kind or cars, they feel the family. 
because they are the people responsible of feeding the children, clothing the children, taking care of the children. So I said bravo to Gambian women. Women play a major role in small ruminant production, representing 52% of the owners of the sheep, 67% of the owner of the goods, and 43% of the owner of both sheep and goods. Even small ruminant production. If you go to any communities, these are the women who are responsible for the production. In addition to that, women constitute 67% of poultry production. Some of them, they have their property houses, but some, they have baggy and poultry production, whereby they, they, they enhance themselves to earn income. However, they are among the poorest and the lack support and market for their produce. So that's why we need private sectors intervention, just like what Kumba is doing. We are calling all private sectors because government alone cannot do it. Our doors are open so that we can work with you to empower our Gambian women, our Gambian farmers. In the National Development Plan, there are measures developed to address the gaps affecting the poor performance of the women and the youth. In conclusion, once again, I have to thank Kumba and her husband and the entire family and the executive and the women of the region, the women of the Gambia, I said a big thank you to you. Because people like Kumba, they are here to support us. And they are also here to support the government. Because government alone cannot do it. And Kumba, the, the able leaders of our president, Adam Abaro, we are ready to work with you. And myself personally, I'm ready to work with you. Anytime you are ready, knock at our doors. Anytime you call me, I will come with this call so that at least we can pave a way forward. It's only we who can develop Gambia, and we are ready to develop Gambia. Thank you very much. you are welcome. you are welcome. Minister, <laughs> The building has been officially inaugurated. Now we continue on with the program. Quickly, as the guests go in the building and out, we will call on Jalinene Suso to entertain us. Jalinene Suso has a song for the woman and also for Aji Kuba Dafeka. And launching of Treasure Women Warriors brand in the Gambia and the unveiling of the test one two test my test
course, we welcome everybody um, new to it from everywhere. New to doing the fusori, new fitai. Kontane torop. I am actually um, humbled in a lot of ways. I was expecting to speak because I think this is about again. We want to make sure that we empower the, the women. Um, but um, um, definitely want to thank everybody for, for being here on, on this day. And um, before I actually even um, um, talk about my wife, obviously I'm biased. So I uh, <laughs> um, want to uh, thank Cliff for you, um, and, um, and the work, I mean, all the, all the great things that have been said by everybody so far, so I'm not going to say much. So the um, idea about actually even um, the empowerment of women, this is not something that is, I think, new to uh, Ajit Kumba as well as myself. Um, and um, clearly, I, I think, in my view, this is fundamental in terms of our development as a country. If we don't develop and empower our women, we cannot um, get ahead. And, um, and much more so, and I think us men have to be a big part of that. So um, the uh, Ajit Kumba is a full embodiment of that. So I'm actually, um, I think, proud to be your husband. And, uh, and, and very proud of all the work and all the um, work that you do. And you're amazing. Um, even adjusting for my biasness, she's, uh, you're, you're amazing. For all that you do and for your heart and for your generosity. And for being a great friend to me, a great wife, and more importantly, a great mother to our, to our daughters. So um, I think the empowerment, empowerment of women becomes even much more important given, I mean, myself growing up in a household of all, all sisters, um, the importance of that. And, um, and much more so, I have all daughters. So if I don't empower them, who does? Who do? And this is something that actually, um, even in, in my line of work in the United States, where there's not a lot of women in that space, is something that I actually embody. In fact, uh, in a lot of, uh, I work in the world of finance, in a lot of trading, it's very male-oriented. Trading deaths that I've run, I mean, have been more like about 50% women, people that have hired. So I think, um, as you come the embodiment of doing that in the Gambia is um, um, very noble and, um, and very humbling. So I am very proud of everybody who's here. I am proud of um, the women, um, the women groups in terms of the successful um, how successful they have been in terms of the work that they're doing, and um, and and um, the energy. Um, talking a little bit about about, about my wife at um a couple of years ago when we said okay, we wanted to start this this program. I said okay, this is um, it's going to be a lot of work, and she said okay, now she's going to be in Gambia extended period of time. I said well, that's going to be challenging, but to the extent that that is something that is. Um, um, uh, the importance of that is that we'll make the sacrifice. We had our daughters here with her last year, and, and the younger one is still here. And, um, and I would say, in fact, right now I'm actually, um, she's so dedicated to this effort, sometimes I actually have to make an appointment to talk to my wife. So, <laughs> so um, but, but the work is very, very rewarding. And even, you know, anytime I'm, I'm here, we, I spend a lot of time in, with her in the rural areas. And to me, just kind of going and listening to the women, like in fact, I think uh, back in July, we were out in, in Balanga, just listening to how these women have been empowered in their own words, um, makes it all the much more worthwhile in terms of um, um, the work that's being done. And in terms of even building this place, I mean, some of the things where, how this already started because of all the work that has been done and to reach the rest of the country, she will need a base somewhere in the middle of the country. And for me, part of that was to be in a place where um, on a, at least once a week she drives, leaves at 5, 5 a.m. in the morning, drives all the way around the country and goes back. And as you can all um, imagine, um, and all of those days I'm actually waiting on the phone to make sure that she gets home safe, but the, the roads are not safe. So I think having a place here will, uh, will empower her to be able to do more within this area and spend more time here. I'm very, very proud of all the work that's been done. So, again, I wasn't expecting to speak here. I just wanted to come here and observe. Um, but I am very humbled and very proud 
to be here, to be uh, to be present here, and um, and and, um, and again, Adjikumba, congratulations for what job well done. Thank you, Mr. Adamaka. Thank you, Mr. Adamaka. I pray that many men heard you speak and they will be inspired to release their wives to fulfill their purpose. You know, there is a difference between a woman's role and a woman's purpose. Ajikuma's role in her home, in her community back in the USA was to be a wife, a mother, an influencer. But Ajikumba's purpose, what she was created for, is to be a solution for the nation of the Gambia. And uh, uh, Mr. Ka, we appreciate you for releasing your wife, empowering your wife and giving her wings to fly so she can fulfill her ultimate destiny. Thank you, Mr. Ka. Can you celebrate Mr. Ka one more time? I'm gonna yomba na wai gonna be halam moja fe. Na ham na ne man. Lima jeta gisman. Ham na ne gor bui bai jabaram nyari at ne kode man top Gambia man eka America. Tede ga ne kochilim fi wa chiga tal Mr. Ka ne mo ham na jamano yo ham ne. Pur mo haja baram sa. Das ko wara jo wahto. Das ka dumuna jo chimo mda muge jo bo pam chige ni. Kona glo luja fe na fi. Mr. Ka mo na top ne sma jabar ma ko sei. Fila talk liko war moy musa yalma way mr kadafa xamne yalla mo binda aji kuma dafe ka daf ko binda de ki moy nek jabari mr ka te aji kuma dafe ca bu passé nek jaba ci kir nek yaay nek lim doon fim de ka dama ko def mu judu bir gambia na dafa am lu ko fa war te lu ko fa war liko yalla tek ngatu bim ko tek moy jigen ni yalla def jigen ni ci bir ay holi aji kuma may anda ak mom ñuy dem ci liggey ñi dem ci alla gi man lima wax net doñ mako dama ko fekke Magis lima wax ci jigen ni magis ni jigen ni di wax ci aji kumba magis ni jigen ni di ñoo wax ci sen xibar di ñu xamal ne ñoom bala ñoo dem ci dekk yi depasse bu len doy sax mënuñ ko am da fiñ nek ñak dafa am way jigen ni tok tay be am depasse di lek ben doy be jigen ni sur be reg mu ne dekk ci yeneen juroomi tay meli jigen ne len kay len yeneen ñu jox len alal ngeen mu ne lek be reg kon na gaccé galama aji kumba gaccé galama aji kumba yow yaay do mi rew bu jela naw lo li la tukki nak di jeriñ nit parce que ku tukki da nga dem jangi pour mu nak gis lo fa jangé pour indi sa rew da jëmale ko kanam kon nak aji kumba bu demé nekk ci bab gis la fa jigen ni di def di égati sen jigen ni be aji kumba am lu em ni ko lu jël alalam ne ma ñi bis ma rew fi ma yalla def ma judo fa té am fa waru gal mu déllu ci jël alalam def ko ci jigen ni kon aji kumba yalla la yalla yalla la yalla barké aji kumba yalla la yalla may li nga bëgg yalla ko xam yalla la ko may we are now moving on to the program we are moving on to the next part of the program the next phase and this is a very interesting phase there is a vehicle that's blocking someone, it's UN-66. UN-66, please, you are blocking someone. We are now moving on to the second half of the program. It's not too long, but you don't want to miss it. And we are going to call on a few women, five women, representing the 700 women that are actively working with the treasure warrior women warrior with the treasure women warriors and these five women are going to share brief testimonials of their journey of how they started how they got here and then ajikuma dafeka will take it on from there to tell us where they're going from here we are all ready and all ears we want to know where you are going from here with this woman fum nek ni dafa am ay jigen yi nek ci liggey bi president treasure women warriors yi nga xamne ño jité jurom ñaari témeri jigen yi liggey bari nañ waye dañ ci taana rek jurom ndax bañ pour tek len fi be guddi ñu taana rek jurom ci ñom pour indi len ndax ñu wax lu gatta wax len fa len aji kuba feeka fim len ekaté fim len indi ben fi tollu ni tay 
Let's on the agenda quickly. Ati Kuma, I invite you up here for the signing of the MOUs. Brief signing of MOUs. First, we would like to invite Yai Tud Lijata. Yai Tud Lijata to sign her MOU with Ati Kuma Dafeka and Treasure Women Warriors. Yai Tud Lijata. Yai Tud Lijata. The second MOU to be signed is with the TIFET. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm a Lee Jata. Thank you for uplifting women in the Gambia. Coaches of Influence Foundation is an organization that I founded along with my husband and we are focused on youth and women development. And currently from last year we opened a branch in the Gambia and we are mentoring youth. We are partnering with Treasure Women Warriors going forward to develop youth in this area and also in training women. Coaches of Infant Foundation and Treasure Women Warriors. Governor Rohi John Manjang, Mune Mwam Dina Indi, $500,000 si, Joko Treasure Women Warriors, Nyulige Yeko, Pur Jurom Benewer, Tenwin Fey Interest, Rafa Buga Eka Tijigeni LRA, Kachule Lolo. And also the second announcement is that the Gambia Chamber, Women's Chamber of Commerce, Gambia Women's Chamber of Commerce, they want to sign an MOU with Treasure Women Warriors in the upcoming days. They are going to partner with Treasure Women Warriors to work and uplift women in the Gambia. Gambia Women's Chamber of Commerce. Gambia Women's Chamber of Commerce. You can sign MOU with Treasure Women Warriors. You can sign MOU we are ready to move on to a very important aspect of the program as well and this is the honoring of 12 women this is going to be very quick and right after this we will invite the president of Treasure Women Warriors, Ajikuma Dafeka, to share her vision and the way forward. But briefly we want to honor this woman. I would like to invite Hadija Tuseka as a presenter for the first award. The next presenter will be Dia Sawane who is the chairperson of Women Council. The third presenter will be Aisha Tuseka. Can we have Hadija Tuseka? Is Hadija to here? 
to present the first award. And this award is going to a woman who is the founder of Takulige Skills Center in Bundung. This skills center is specialized in training women in the areas of catering, sewing, and other vocational skills. And this lady that we are honoring, this woman has been here working and uplifting women in Bundung and in the surrounding areas for 25 years now. She has trained women from different backgrounds through this institution. Hadija Kuseka, Hadija Tuseka will present this award to no other than Amijata. Amijata of Takulige Skills Center in Bundung. We salute you. We appreciate you for 25 year of, years of service to humankind. Treasure Warrior Woman appreciates your work. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Mange ni ki li fayi fitog yep. Ah, di konta na ki awo di buba haba haba. Di gerem aji kuma buba haba. Di ko wa ne li nga def li ruhay la ki man. Na 25 years. Nga ne ka di liga yel jige ni. Di liga yel da wile yo mi. Ta yi ma tren lu mu 2000 yu tso ham ne ki man la nge ne. Lo lu santa yala la ken mu suko wa ne. Lu mo yi aji kuma. Aje kuma jere jef. Ya wana bala mala wa jere jef. Dama wa hindi ka sambo ka yi jere jef. Nyom nyi ambo ka mu bah. Japa leko. Ba mu yida flu bah sire umi. Wa yi fanta ba yi seka jere jef. Minister jere jef. Ami fagu de suma toma jere jef. Wa yi manida kosta jere jef. Yen nima indil. Jige di jamba bi jere jef. Wa yi liba tiye sani reg mo yi. Hono de bul minister ami fagu de. Gambi ya government. Get su len. Gak sulen jige ni jambal bega hamne udul put kuasam dapat ko udul jige ni Gambia nah lo hamne dapat nyu di balala nyala bugu macam mana ko aku nyu udul put di balai bopam terus aku minat nyu wak ko terus dia dapat fibari nyu mubo ni jige ni la nyu di balai fakar sel kuas la nyu di balai lo lo nak neka na lo hamne yau yang ku kerja di jige Gambia yang nala ya la fain suka guru cima ane liom nang nyu neng way deng dem ani dem ane bine aku nfi ni ko nfi di naku macam lo she has labored for 25 years, and in her own words, she has not been honored in this way. Ajikuma Dafe decided to expose her work, to celebrate her, and to honor her. We are so proud of you. The next award will be presented by Dia Sawane, the chairperson of Women Council. And this award is going to a woman who has served as the director of Women's Bureau. During her tenure, she championed women causes and advocated for women at the grassroots level. She has always been very instrumental in helping women. She sponsored some of the overseas treatments and supported women in all kinds of ways. We are here to honor Aida Fai Haidara. Aida Fai Haidara, we honor you. Is Aida Fai Haidara here? If she is not here, can the award be received by someone on her behalf? Aida Fai Haidara. Can we have someone receive the award on her behalf? Minister, thank you for receiving the, the award on behalf of Aida Fai Haidara. The next presenter will be Aise Tuseka. A woman who is currently the Deputy Secretary at the Ministry of Health and she was the former director at the Women's Bureau. This woman has also championed women health issues and she used her position at the Women's Bureau to empower so many women across the country. And this woman's name has been mentioned numerous times today by other women who appreciate her for shining the light over them. Fanta Baiseka, Treasure Woman Warrior, honors you and appreciates you for your hard work, for your influence, for empowering women and standing by them for many years. I got you say. The next woman we are honoring, 
She is the interim president of the Gambia Women Federation and she is a name that echoes on the lips of women all around this country. She worked with women at the grassroots level for more than 10 years and has been attesting to her work. The fruit that she produces speaks for itself. We would like to honor Maria da Costa. Maria da Costa is a household name in the Gambia. The next award will be presented by Ajola Jalo, 